everyone, this is Jekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x into dy by dx plus y equals to log x. Solution. Given differential equation. x into dy by dx plus y equals to log x. Again, again, write this as dy by dx plus y by x equals to log x by x. Okay. Which is linear equation in y which is of linear equation in y form okay we know that the standard form of linear equation is standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So here, if you notice, you are having the quotient of dy by dx is 1, right? But in the given equation, the quotient of dy by dx is x. In order to make the quotient of dy by dx to 1, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation by y, okay? You can just write like this or we can divide the whole equation or LHS and RHS by x. What happens if you divide LHS and RHS by x? Here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split this into two terms. Then you will get x into dy by dx by x plus y by x equals to log x by x. Your x gets cancelled and you get dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to log x by x. Okay, this one, which is a linear equation in y. Or you can just write like directly like this. Now, by comparing these two equations, we'll get P and Q, where P equals to 1 by X. Okay, you can just write 1 by X, so Y by X as 1 by X into, sorry, Y equals to log X by X. So, this of dy by dx plus p into y equals to q form, right? That p equals to 1 by x and q equals to log x by x, which are functions of x, right? Now, we need to find integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in y is given by e power integral p dx using this formula we can find integrating factor to the given equation equals to e power integral for p equals to 1 by x dx integral 1 by x dx is log mod x or you can write this as e power log x right now, so we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x. Then e power log function of x can be written as x. Right? Simply, we'll let e power log function of x as equals to function of x. Now, we are having integrating factor x. Now, what we'll do is We'll find 
the general solution to the given equation or to the given linear equation in y. We know that the general solution of a linear equation in y that is dy by dx plus b into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c then using this formula we can also find the general solution to the given equation right so the general solution of the given equation dy by dx plus y by x equals to log x by x is given by y into integrating factor x equals to integral q for q equals to log x by x into integrating factor x into dx plus c here x gets cancelled then y x equals to integral log x dx plus c okay since we know that integral log x dx equals to x times log x minus 1 plus integral constant c or if in case of forgetting formula what you can do is simply evaluate log x dx using integral by parts you can write this as integral log x into 1 into dx okay we know that integral by parts formula for an integrand having logarithm function and polynomial function we'll use integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v d okay integral by parts So here, we'll take log function that is logarithmic function as u and polynomial function that is the remaining. Here one is considered as polynomial function because one is a constant polynomial, right? So 1 into dx will be d. 1 into dx or simply dx. 1 into dx is dx. Okay. Log x as first function and dv will be the remaining. Now you need to find v and also du. Okay. Firstly, we'll find d. Derivative of u with respect to x or differentiate u equals to log x with respect to x then you'll get du by dx equals to d by dx of log x then du by dx equals to derivative of log x is 1 by x right from this we'll get du equals to 1 by x into dx. Okay. Now, here you have
having dv equals to dx, right? Then integrate on both sides. We get v equals to x. Now apply u v in this formula, then you'll get integral u dv equals to u v for u equals to log x into v for v equals to x minus integral v for v equals to x into du d equals to 1 by x dx This equals to x log x minus here x gets cancelled and integral 1 dx. Okay, you can write integral 1 dx as integral dx. This equals to x log x minus integral dx is x. Now take x common from these two terms, you'll get x times log x minus 1. Plus integral constant. Just a formula. Now coming to the general solution. This becomes yx equals to integral log x dx is x times log x minus 1 plus integral constant c. Or this is the required general solution or you can write simply by taking x to RHS RHS by x which is equals to here having 1, 2, 2 terms in the numerator and 1 term in the denominator so we will split this into 2 terms we we'll get x times log x minus 1 by x plus c by x where x gets cancelled this equals to y equals to log x minus 1 plus c into 1 by x we'll just write c by x as c c into 1 by x we know that 1 by x equals to x inverse Then this becomes c into x inverse. Okay. Either this or this. You can either stop it here or you can continue like this. Okay. So the required general solution is. yx equals to x times log x minus 1 plus c or y equals to log x minus 1 plus c into x inverse. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.